Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new picky guide. Today let me present you your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So we're gonna go in depth and see who this person is, we're gonna see physical traits, personality and more. So I invite you to pick between these three pals. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And if you guys love ASMR videos, I invite you to follow me down below, I'm gonna link everything. Same thing if you want to get my book of answers, a reading with me or a yes or no answer, everything is linked down below. And if you're watching on Bilibili, you can also book a reading with me like here. <laughs> Alright, so let's start your reading. So group number one, let's start and see hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So on the scene you can see a kiss with these two lovers and you can see that passion and attraction and that deep love they share. I see always appearing on the neon sign, so perhaps it's a sign for you that you might be attracting a future boyfriend or girlfriend that will be your always, your forever ever. <laughs> so let's see hints with the kites. Who is your future boyfriend or girlfriend? Anything about them or the future together? We'll see what comes out for this deck. So let's see these two. Well, <laughs> well, 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 you can see the lover's guide and we have the three of wands. So first of all, when I saw this one, I thought about passion, attraction, a desire to plan for the future. And it's very connected to what we saw as like, this is an always or forever love story, love story <laughs> that you are attracting. So anything you plan on, if for example, you want to get married, if you want to have kids, if you want to, I don't know, build something thing with your person. This is all that I see blooming in your reality when being together. Number three talks about growth. So you can expect a partner who is going to desire to grow with you. That's why you can see future projects. So what are you looking for? What is something that you are craving right now when it comes to the future you want to experience love-wise? And because we have the lover's card, of course, this one is about destiny. This one is about a compatible soul that is going to appear in your life. So if you feel an attraction as if your soul is calling for this person, this is the one. Number six, of course, connects to what is meaningful to us and what we love. So this person is going to be meaningful for your soul and your heart is going to feel guided towards this person. And you can see the introduction of a kiss and we have a kiss starting with this card. So get ready, because I believe this might be happening around um, spring season or Gemini season. So we have Gemini as a sign or this one can be fire. So fire sign and Gemini so far are showing up. I'll be using the grid today so we can see the zodiac sign or seasons. So let's see a couple cards. <laughs> I, was, I was telling you, get ready and telling you the seasons. And can you see this one? I will surprise you soon. So this is pretty clear to me. <laughs> this person is stepping forward. This person or their souls are telling you, I'm coming, stay there, just wait for me because I will surprise you soon. And if you have a crush on somebody, they might surpri surprise you with maybe some invitation, a future date, but there is something cooking here. <laughs> so let's see more. Okay, so you are all mine. I could see that. I could see this person, you know, prioritizing you, seeing a future with you, planning with you. So they possibly want to get even married to you. And I did readings recently about future spouse, future fiance. So if you've been receiving these messages over and over again, I guess this is a sign for you, but you can also check them out after this reading. I will take care of you. Totally husband, wife material. Can you see that? this is perfect so let's see these and I don't want to pretend anymore so if if you guys are playing friends or colleagues or co-workers whatever that is because there could be a situation where you guys are together but there is some weird uh, situation 
So yes, they do not want to pretend anymore. It's like they're working together here, so I guess this could be related. And I, or maybe they work in the same field as you, if not working with you. And I don't like to see you in pain. And I, and we saw, where is it? I'll take care of you. So of course they do not like to see you in pain. They do not like you to suffer. So they want to be the provider. They want to take care of you. Totally, totally the message. So let's continue and get hints about their personality. So who are they as a person? What can you expect? So they can be a solitary person. Maybe if you've met somebody and you're asking yourself, is this person even interested? Because I'm not seeing them showing up much. This might be because they can be someone who is a solitary. They can love to, you know, just possibly stay at home or just stay around people that they feel comfortable with or they know for a long, long, long time. But they're very friendly when they open up. So yeah, maybe they just need some time alone sometimes. So they can be very friendly. And with you, I see that they will open up. They just need to acclimate possibly in the beginning if you feel there is some distance. So let's see physical traits, what they look like physically. So we have colorful hair, if not about them, by the way, this could be about you, and perhaps on the cards you could see hints about how they look already. So colorful hair, formal, formal style, green eyes. I'll show you these first, and then we have many more to come. And like I said, they can look similar to the pictures here. So let's see the next ones. We have fit, so they could be sporty or wear anything sporty fit. We have grunge, emo, goth or all black style. Then we have freckles, so they can have indeed freckles. It's funny because I showed you actually men figures and then women. So and now we have one more, which is another man and we have glasses and contacts so they can wear glasses it does not have to be wearing glasses because they need them but this can just be a fashion item so let's continue and get hints about this person okay we have way too many here so a trendsetter when i was just talking about fashion <laughs> so yes they might love to explore with their style trendsetter it doesn't have to be just style you know it can be just trendsetter with a, a new idea new hobby or they can be someone who has that influence like they inspire people oh wait we have more traveler so perhaps traveling to you and because we have the portal they can be traveling to you in dreams so pay attention to your dreams and what's happening in your dreams because you can be traveling to each other but of course this can be about some distance in the physical and you guys traveling to each other or that can just be a passion of theirs you know they can love to be traveling and you know explore different cultures and feel inspired by that. So let's pick now objects. I picked this deck because I think it's very interesting to know what they're up to, what they like to be doing, or sometimes they're very symbolic, so we can see that. Car, so they can have a beautiful car, or just love to, I don't know, look at cars, some passion. <laughs> and that's connected to the traveler because we have the suitcase appearing on this one so yes yes indeed expect possibly a travel maybe going on a ride together and going on a weekend traveling you know that can be this type of message as like this is what they like to do or would love to do and i told you i will surprise you soon can be some invitation to do something together or to go on a date together so possibly that date could be a little weekend trip together or that could be something you do a lot together when starting dating. So let's see. There's a jack sign with the grid. And like I said, this could be rather the season or there is a jack. Okay, so we have Libra and Pisces as a plus. So I'll move this and continue with the grid. 
So we can pull some charms for you and get more hints about this future person, this future partner. And of course, we have letters and words, so we can see perhaps a code, a message, perhaps a name. I heard gain. So gain, done. So Danielle, Daniela, Danny. Win, Dolce and Gabbana is what I thought about. In all, dog. So there could be a dog person or have a dog. I would now. So for the charms, we have the pentacle, which is to me a symbol for fortune, stability, a deep connection. Of course, the pentacles connect to earth. So they could be an earth sign. I see reach, smile, and we saw, I'll oh, come surprise you soon. So in my opinion, yes, yes, they will reach out to you soon. We have age, maybe an age difference, age gap, or the age you might know. I see things skyrocketing, so they can be successful. And I see they want to indeed find someone they can commit to and build something with. They do not want just to flirt or just to, you know, just have a little date and so then it's over. No, they want to plan on building with you. So let's see with my book of love answers. So there we can see perhaps a message, something significant. And then we have stickers. So let's see a message for you. And if you want to get my book, it's going to be linked down below. You are manifesting this. So this is a sign you're manifesting this beautiful boyfriend or girlfriend. Let's pick now some stickers. About this person. Okay. Oh, look at this. They're reaching out for each other's hand. I'm going to place them here and show you a close up. Okay. So, coffee makes everything better is one of the messages. So they can be a coffee lover. I see through your BS. So I feel like this is going to be the type of person you attract. They can see clearly what's going on and if people are being honest or not. With this spice, I can see this as spicy time together. You know what I'm talking about. And as for this cake, maybe that's a birthday party or maybe celebrating, you know, for example the 100 days together or maybe celebrating a year or two of the relationship, maybe marriage anniversary as well. I see you guys feeling safe to see, to share secrets together. I see <laughs> a little bit tipsy here, drinking beer. So it could be a future date, of course, if you actually drink. And as for this one, I'm seeing this person again, and you could see that, reaching for you, reaching your hand, holding your hand, and this could be one of the first moves they make. So that's the reading, guys. If you want to get a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below, so check it out. You can also check my other reading, and I will see you guys on my next one. Group number two, let's see hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So on this scene, and I'm sure you picked this one for a reason, there is indeed a lot of attraction and passion here. So you can see that scene as like possibly a future, a future moment together, a moment of intimacy, deep connection and deep passion. And we can see the clock which is 11 and 5. So I'm saying this because you can be seeing 11, 11 a lot or 5, 5, 5 or these numbers appearing or 2, 3 and 5 because this is the, the way it shows up. I'm saying 11 because for, for example, in America, you don't see 23, you see 11. So yeah, I'm just wanting to point that out. Let's continue and get hints about rather your future or this person. Anything significant? We have way too many cards, so let's shuffle again. Just one, two, or three max. Ooh, okay, so Seven of Pentacles is showing up. This is a card connected to what we invest into. And I'm seeing investing in this new beginning of love, this new passionate attraction. 
you are attracting someone who is going to be very expressive, creative, very fun to be around as well. They might have this type of personality which is very bubbly, funny and very entertaining. And as for the seven of pentacles, they can be good with businesses or any type of planning for the future, investment. And I see this as a person who is going to become successful with what they're investing themselves into. So if they're studying about something, they will attract a lot of success thanks to these studies. If they're working on a new project, this one will be fertile with time and they're waiting to collect their coins pretty much. So that's what I can see for the traits and qualities for you and expect this new beginning to start because what I see with the ones is that this could be happening around spring or autumn season. Depends who is watching here. And for... I'm saying this because we don't share the same seasons around the globe, so that's why. But for the signs, we have fire sign and earth signs, so that can also be related to your person. So let's see next couple cards, so we can see more hints about your future together. Sharing secrets, okay, so feeling comfortable sharing everything with your person and that shows trust. You trust this person so much that you don't have to restrict yourself or stop yourself. You can really talk about everything. Let's see these. I adore you. Reunion. I work so hard to meet you and I'm choosing you. Okay, this is good. This is really good. So they're choosing you because they adore you. They like you and they cannot wait to reunite with you and spend more time with you. Of course, this reunion can be a soul message. We have met before and I want us to be together in this lifetime as well. And we are working perfectly together so I'm going to work my best so I can be to get I mean I can be with you again in this lifetime possibly this is where you can see someone who is abandoned because they put the work into what they trust is best for them so including their relationships friendships or loving relationships so let's see now their traits personality traits anything significant shy and intellectual it makes total sense because we could see someone who is hard working dedicated to make things grow so yes they're going they're going to be studying a lot and learning so they can become their best or just attract the best can you really oh, okay shy so they can appear shy in the beginning or you might feel there is some distance sometimes but it's just because they might be more introverted so they need to feel safe or acclimate to somebody before totally opening up to you let's see now physical traits and of course you can see perhaps something significant like the way they dress the way they look already on the other cards so let's see see anything significant with the way they look so blue eyes blue no light blue eyes i mean light blue eyes tan and medium hair so these are the traits if not about you this could be things they i mean if not about them i cannot talk today geez <laughs> if not about them this could be about you things they like about you so tan medium hair and light blue eyes okay so let's see next i'm going to pick another deck so we can see more hints about your person and also about the energy so the first one the two of them actually oh okay so <laughs> this person can be your crush because you can see crush and then next level okay so if you do have a crush on somebody expect this relationship or connection to go to the next level <laughs> honestly that's pretty clear to me unless if you don't have a crush this could be them crushing on you and desiring to step forward and actually grow something with you all right so let's see now with this deck we're gonna see objects or anything symbolic so we'll see what comes out for you. That totally connects because we talked about someone with 
joyful, playful, fun and creative. And with the toy, I'm seeing this as, again, someone who likes to play, someone who likes to you know, have fun with you and they possibly would love to play games with you, whether it's board games, activities, something like that. As for the gas station here, perhaps this is a significant place or that might just connect to the idea of this person giving you fuel, giving you energy. All right, so let's move on and pick the other techniques. I'm going to see with the grid, so what is their zodiac sign? If not their zodiac sign, this could be related to a season. And so far we had spring or fire sign. We had earth energy or autumn season. So for the signs, we have Virgo, a little bit of Libra as well. Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Let's see now with the charms. I'm telling you, my brain today is just bugs. <laughs> I mean, lagging. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so let's see next. I mean, Mercury's in retrograde. I'm not sure if you guys feel what's going on. I mean, if you're watching this around the time I'm posting it. But I'm feeling tired and it's very hard to motivate myself when usually I just bounce on walls. So it's just very difficult. <laughs> okay, so dog is what I thought about. Area is what I heard. Oh, grade, grades. And we, we saw intellectual study, so maybe, or maybe graduation, reach, why, reach again, week, oh, maybe they will reach out in a week, rad, grand, so perhaps somebody who is tall, we have a cat stretching, maybe that's the, that's the stretch that is going to happen, I'm saying again, somebody wants to dig, you know, dig the treasure, find the treasure, this reminds me of a flag or I don't know why this reminds me of a piece of pizza. So maybe that's a future date, but this could be a flag or maybe something is speaking to you when you look at it. As for this one, I'm seeing that their success is going, is going to stick to them. As for the dove, I'm seeing this. Oh, you guys are digging. You too. <laughs> You might want to become rich and successful together. Uh, but just going back to this, I'm seeing peace, love and freedom in that relationship. And this person can be refreshing or an air sign. So let's continue with the other techniques. I'm going to pick my book of love answers, which is available on Amazon if you guys are interested. So let's see a message, the guidance you guys need to receive, group number two. Give yourself to me. Okay, that is pretty clear. I mean, this crush is crushing on you and they want to be with you. So it's pretty clear, pretty straightforward too. So let's pick now some stickers. And if you guys want to get a reading with me, a yes or no, everything is linked down below. So check it out. Let's see some stickers. Group number two i didn't pick more it's funny because the pizza was on top and i just talked about this okay so we have a tape music could be significant we have star maybe you like the same band the same type of music or planning to go to a concert or them sharing their playlist it could be something they do and you can see holding hands perhaps a date Someone who is indeed very creative and colorful. And we talked about this with the Ace of Wands. I put a spell on you. <laughs> actually, I'm going to be recording a role play very soon and actually creating a potion with my ASMR channel. So check it out. Make sure to follow me there if you want to, you know, enjoy. We have charm. So you are attracting someone who is charming, very charismatic. And you can see again, holding hands. So they're really playing that game of seduction with you, which is really nice to see. So this is your rating, guys. I hope you like it. Claim it down below, of course. If you new, join the family. And if you want, you can check my other readings on my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.
So group number three, let's see hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. So here you can see Valentine's Day or like a night that is very cozy and comfortable. I mean, it's actually snowing here. So it could be around a season where it's actually snowing or being cold. But I'm not seeing this too far from this present moment whenever you're watching this because that's a timeless reading. But I see that you're going to feel safe and secure. I'm saying this because the cat is just sleeping peacefully so that can be a hint and you can see chocolates so perhaps chocolate is something you guys like or that could be a gift they offer you or maybe chocolate can be something significant as something very symbolic for the two of you or this relationship so let's pick this other deck so we can see hints about your person or okay this one <laughs> or about your future so we have the king of pentacles which is a king that is mature like what they want is commitment what they're looking for is someone who wants to build with them they don't like to waste time they are wanting and desiring things to work best case scenario in every areas of their life so when it comes to dating if they choose you that means they truly value you and they introspected into your life and in what you are as a person and also your values and what you're looking for so like i said this person is really like a businessman or businesswoman because they see things as like an investment do I want to invest in this person? And if so, what is this person able to bring to me? What is this person, um, like, values? Are they aligning with mine? Can we see a future together? Do we desire the same things? So they will ask yourself these type of questions because they want something deep and strong that will be lasting in time. So let's see more cards. And again, I'm seeing this investment and generosity because the thing is, they want to find the right person for them because they want to be generous with you. They want to provide to somebody who is valuable. And yes, they're waiting for this to the beginning. They cannot wait actually to be with you. And like I said, if they're choosing you, if they're spending time with you, if they contact you and message you and actually ask you a lot of questions, that means they are already in they are hooked by you and they cannot wait to possibly have a drink with you to go on a date with you but they see there is a possible chance for us to start dating for us to start building something together but you are currently manifesting a person who is in their king or queen energy that means this person has been doing the work this person knows what they're capable to give and when they see your value, they will want to be the provider. They're possibly the money maker in this dynamic. So a strong masculine essence, even if they can be your goal, they are just wanting to be the provider. It is, it's rather providing with money or providing with food or providing with whatever they are really good at. <laughs> but they want to be the provider. They want to give back to you. And you want to possibly spoil back this person. So I see that exchange that's fair and balanced with the skill here that will bring actually a good um, and healthy environment for the two of you to desire to provide, to desire to grow together. For the numbers, we have one and six. So number one connects to someone who is independent, a leader, a creator. Of course, this can be announcing a start, which is what the ace is talking about. And then six connects to love so you're attracting a new love a new love story here with someone who is ready to give to you for the signs i see water pentacles is earth sign but with the scale i think about libra and then with the pentacles again earth energy these can be associated to seasons so for the seasons i am seeing summer then i am seeing autumn season so they can be significant for you guys perhaps a meeting perhaps when starting to date so let's see with couple cards more hints about your future together with this love story that's starting so let's 
happy. But so far I can see having a drink, eating something together, and you can see home-made meals, so yes. And this is totally what we talked about. They want to find the one they will commit to. So that means, of course, living together in the future. So this is what I can see as like a future scene. You two eating together, enjoying that meal, possibly even cooking together. So homemade meal. Let's see more from this deck. So we, oh, so meeting. So you can be meeting each other in meditations, in dreams, or they might just appear to you with signs that you see everywhere. Possibly one, 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 um, number six a lot that you might see, or maybe a date that's specific. I don't know, maybe that's related to all these signs. We can see perhaps scales everywhere, money, pentacles, um, what else? Flowers, I see that too. So soul meeting, I feel like they're trying to get your attention in other realms. <laughs> or when you're just meditating, so you're in that state to receive. All right, so maybe you're attracting a soulmate actually, or someone in your soul family. But it doesn't have to be because you can be meeting other souls even if you're not solely connected. So let's see now traits with their personality. So what they other person. So positive mind, positive mindset. We have sensuality. And we started with that, you know, sensuality, playing um, that game of seduction, dressing a certain way. So maybe you can play with that, but trust me, they will play with that too. Even the way this person is dressed here. I think that's, um, I'm not sure, I mean, I, it reminds me of Yeonjin from, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name right, but from Stray Kids. <laughs> so positive mindset and sensuality. And we have a birthday going on, so perhaps maybe a birthday celebration, could be a way to um, meet each other, or perhaps it's actually them wishing you happy birthday when your birthday comes. So let's see more with physical traits. So what they look like physically, and perhaps on the card you can see already hints with the style, hair color and everything. All right, so let's see. We have black hair, hazel eyes. I'll show you these after. So black hair, hazel eyes. And of course the way they look on the cards can be significant. We have a soothing voice, high pitched voice. And if not about them, this could be things they like about you and seductive charms. These are the traits for you. So let's continue and pick the other cards. So let's pick this one, this oracle deck, so we can see who they are as a person. We have new lesson. Interesting. Maybe you've been receiving a karmic lesson, universe's lesson with somebody, and so you will be then redirected towards this person. We have birth of power. So they are currently working on becoming powerful, becoming unstoppable. This could be an artist. You can see that with this other card. An artist, a creative, a powerful person. Um, like the way she is dressed reminds me of school. So you can be studying together or they can be still at school. And this one, protection. Maybe this new lesson that you received or something happening, and I'm recording during the eclipse. Um, I did a channeled message on my Instagram channel and I was channeling that there could be a lot of eclipse from relationships. People suddenly disappearing, things suddenly being taken away. So you can be freeing space for the new. And so all that's taken away from you is or was the distraction that you did not, um, I mean, that did not serve you. And so it's, this was protecting you from actually residing in an energy or relationship or circumstance that is not fitting for you. So eclipses are also the cleanse that you needed, or maybe around that time 
when you're watching, it feels like there is a cleanse because you're being protected from another lesson so you can start a new with someone who is ready to date you and create with you. Greater relationship, of course. <laughs> Let's see next with this deck. So anything symbolic about this relationship. So this artist can be into creating content, filming, or taking pictures as well, if not drawing. Or you guys can just love to take pictures together and videos when you guys hang out. That can be two. Let's see this one. <laughs> I like this because this could be a future date as well. Going to a amusement park, I think about Disneyland or anything similar with the carousel. Unless this talks about the spinning motion, you know, somebody spinning around you, trying to get your attention and show you, I'm actually interested. <laughs> so maybe that's a sign. If you see someone, even on social media, that's always showing up, this could be that they actually like you a lot. So let's see next with the grid. Jeez, I knew, I knew this was about to happen. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to prepare these from the last group. So let's place them back in the bag so we can see rather there's a duck sign or a season. Okay, so we have Taurus, Aries, Pisces and Aquarius. Let's see now some charms for you guys. So we can see maybe a name of hearing with letters and words in them. Or we can see something significant representing your person. Okay. I see ton. I would train as well. So ton. Or this one is <laughs> reverse. Train. So training, or this could be the train. Train station, something like this. I see that this love is going to stick to you. Like you can see the pin as like I'm pinning myself to you. Let me just fix it. Okay. You can see that. Then we have the golf. So they could be playing that type of sport or will in the future. We have true love and these two hearts are attached to each other. We have happy and world, so they're really happy around you. And the world to me is a symbol, rather connected to traveling, maybe they are around the globe, or um, this can be representing completion, because in tarot, the world card talks about completion, so feeling complete when around each other. And it's funny, because I talked about the spinning motion with the carousel, so spinning around the globe can be about traveling. All right, so let's continue with the Book of Love Answers. And if you want to get your copy, this one is on Amazon. And of course, it's linked down below. This is easier this way. Okay, so dirty secrets. Possibly in the beginning, you might not really feel comfortable to share everything to your person. But like I said, this person wants to invest with you. So honesty is going to be the key to make that successful. So let's pick some stickers. And if you guys want to get a reading with me or a yes or no answer, you can find everything linked down below. Same thing if you're watching from Billy Billy. Okay. Oh, we have many of them. <laughs> so going home on top of the roof. I'll show you a close up, just want to prepare them. And I'll pick the other ones after. So let's see these first. Come here. Okay, so they're inviting you on top of the roof. Then we... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they can have this type of, um, you know, type of, not personality, but the way they might joke around might be this way. Psycho a little bit. <laughs> we have hi, so they might contact you, text you possibly. I see someone who is intellectual or love to read a lot. Milk, and we have a peach. Perhaps this is what they love to drink. Um, I see 
it's funny because we had dirty secrets and here they're sharing them. So it's not about keeping secrets possibly, but sharing everything together because you love this person and you want to open up. We have protect me and we have the rose. The rose to me is a symbol for someone who is romantic or about to, sorry my voice, or about to open up to you. So let's see the other ones. So going home. Oh, maybe a concert. A concert. Party. I'm not moving these because I'm struggling. It's we have many of them. So okay, this way. No, I did not miss any. So we have bye. And we saw someone that could be a new lesson that you say goodbye to. We talked about Eclipse. So with this new person, I see something spicy. Frame it. Mm. So you might consider something with them. Maybe this person or you might feel shy. Not shy. Uh, shy. Here I see making memories together. And with this one, I see you guys possibly going to a concert or something similar. This person writing to you or sharing poems to you. And we have the stamp with love. Let me see if I see a place. No. So just with love. What's the message? Oh, it's too tiny. I cannot, I cannot read it. We have drink me. So and we saw going on a drink with this one. Going on a ride, feeling okay, being stoked when together, maybe going to the beach together as well. So that is your reading, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this energy down below in the comments. Subscribe and join the family if you're new here. Check my other readings appearing on the screen. And like I said, if you want a reading or yes or no, this is linked down below. Take good care of you.